Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, Steve here, and I am back to do a review. Something came in the mail today. Don't mind that strange person. That's my daughter. Hey! <laughs> Anyways, it's the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. So I'm going to do a review on it, maybe some comparisons uh, with and without the Media Mod. And I'll be right back after this. Don't mind this person either. All right, let's get into it. Um, before we even get started, get my trusty knife out here. Cut this tape open. Uh, and I'll tell you what's included in the box. It's actually an extra mounting buckle and a thumb screw, which is always good because you always end up losing that stuff, right? Um, so the box on the side here, we got the media mod instructions, user manual, and then we got the limited lifetime warranty business here. So read all that stuff because you know I do, right? <laughs> anyway, so here's the extra buckle, extra thumb screw, and then we got the media mod itself things out so on the uh, media mod itself we got two cold shoe mounts here's one here and the power button and I'll roll around to the side there's the other cold shoe mount there we got the bottom here and it has the openings for the mounts you know the mounts are on the camera now right and then we got the mode button over here and on the top, again, oh, I'll show you how to open this thing up there. It opens up just like the battery case. So your GoPro Hero 8 will slide into this slot here and plug into that USB-C port there. That's the charging port on your camera. It goes right there. You're going to have to take off your battery cover also. And back to the top here, again, there's a cold shoe and the power button. And then there's a shotgun mic there which is built into the media mod. So this thing works great. Okay, I tried it out already. It, they say it's directional. Um, I tried, you know, camera pointing front. I tried that out. And then you got the mini HDMI. You got a USB-C. And then you got a 3.5 mic input. So if you want to add your own mic, uh, to J or Rode Video Micro or whatever, you plug it into there. And there it is. That is your media mod. Hi, this is a mic test of the GoPro Hero 8 without the media mod, no additional mic. This is with the onboard mic. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Fans on, this is a mic test of the GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod, using the shotgun mic on the media mod. Uh, again, this is a mic test. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's a couple things that I, I didn't know about. I just learned about because I don't read the manuals. So, that shotgun mic that we're talking about. Shotgun! All right, it's actually stereo as well. And it has a rear rear facing, front facing, or stereo. And then you go into your settings when you plug in the media mod. Once you plug it in, it automatically... Um, adds it on to your settings in video so you have to go in and then you can select front center or stereo well excuse me front rear front rear or stereo and then they suggest that you don't use the stereo uh if there's a lot of wind out there okay anyways so that's why the mic works a little bit better than the stock microphone so Here's some final thoughts on the GoPro media mod for the Hero 8. Um, I heard some people talking about the build quality, that it, it's cheap. You know, it's I don't think it's really cheap. Well, it's, the price is definitely not cheap. It's uh, $79.99 uh, on the website. So that's definitely not cheap. Um, is it worth it? Uh, depends how you're going to use it. You know, if you're using it in a vlog situation, should be fine if you're gonna make use of the shotgun mic it should be fine there is a little improvement over the stock microphone the other features like the hdmi mini out 
that helps if you're gonna review some video somewhere. Um, the USB-C charging port in the back, that helps out a lot. You don't have to remove the camera, uh, put it back in afterwards and whatnot. And if you're a GoPro Plus member, when you're charging your camera, everything uploads to the web. You just gotta set that up earlier when you're setting your camera up and you'll be fine. Also the uh, 3.5 mil adapter for an external microphone, which if you're using the boom mic, you don't need one, but you can also add on the Rogue Video Micro, Etage, what have you. So you can use all those mics um, through that little plug there. And you don't need a, that dongle adapter that was just a pain in the ass. Hey folks, so if you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe below. And leave me some comments because I like that kind of stuff, all right? Until next time, take care and aloha.